Oh, there's a snail there. Alright, we're back to play more of this game. It starts you still shooting water while we are still attacking these guys. Oh well. The faster we take out these creeps, the faster we can finally end this gameplay once and for all. Which really won't be happening until we get to part 30, I guess. Maybe. This is already part 24 right now. I could probably make this video like less than maybe 14 minutes longer. Or 15. It just depends on how long this is going to take. And how much interesting cutscenes they keep doing in this gameplay. Gun, and this is actually pretty neat to pass the time to get out these goons. Take this. Have some of this. There. Also, I always find it weird that they're all blue. And when they have to enter in the fi fire. I was say. Screw it. Stretchy powers time. Don't restart, G. We're gonna get to ya. Okay, we got three questions. Let's start with the obvious top side. What is this thing? It's called the Wet Willy. It's a magic artifact. Used to belong to Billy, the greatest warrior ever. Sweet. A hero of renown. He slayed an evil ocean. He cast the Lich King down. Yeah, yeah, we know how the song goes. Why do you have this thing? Starchy wanted to visit his old buddy Cinnamon Bun. But it's really hot in the fire kingdom. It makes my crust extra crispy. So I needed something to cool down the fire. <laughs> in case it got kind of out of control. Where did you find this thing? I bought it at a yard sale. Pretty much everything from Billy's Cave is up for sale. If you hurry, you might still be able to get some stuff. But it's going fast. Oh, the prices are great. Thanks for the info, Starchy. I think we're going to hold on to the wet willy, though way too dangerous, especially in the Fire Kingdom. We saw a flambo a while back. You should track him down while it's cool and get him to cast Flame Shield on you if you're gonna stay here. No thanks. Starchy is out of here. He's had enough of the Fire Kingdom for one day. I'll visit Cinnamon Bun some other time. Thanks again. Dude, I can't believe somebody's selling all of Billy's stuff. Yeah, we better go to Billy's cave and see what's up. All right, it's actually saving, even though it didn't do it last time. And we got a achievement called Wet Willy. Jake, what the flip is going on here? And there's like somebody's having a yard sale in front of Billy's cave. Sonny. It's all of Billy stuff. Most of these things are just as dangerous as the Wet Willy. Marceline. We need to find out who's selling these artifacts and get them to stop. There's Marceline. Maybe she knows what's going on. Good, we're finally hearing a different soundtrack for once. Somebody's selling gold? 
why not just, you know, take it from your defeated foes? It's Billy's magical mystery mace. This thing is way powerful. And pretty awesome, too. Little kids should definitely not be allowed to buy magical artifacts. Finn and Jake, aren't all these magical things cool? Man, the kids at school would flip if I brought back some of this awesome swag. I totally. Hey, it's that guy Sonny again. Hi, Sonny. What brings you here? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm just looking for rare artifacts. I'm a collector. Well, Billy's cave is full. But how did you find the place? My lantern. The lantern of infinite treasures. It's kind of a compass that sees rare stuff that leads me to it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, see you later. Later! I wonder who plays Sunny after we get this gun game done with. Hello again. Hello again. Hmm, look at that hat. It's one of those Fez hats. I wonder if this thing is magical too. We won't know because they don't have the budget for it. Everything must go. Somebody's selling all of Billy's stuff. Check out that cool boom box. Billy's magical boom box. Too bad it doesn't play records. And there's that same candy person again. Isn't that the candy person Magic Man was harassing a while ago? All right, let's talk to Marcy. Maybe Marceline knows what's going on around here. Hey guys, what's up? We were going to ask you the same thing, Marceline. What's going on here? What does it look like? It's a yard sale. Who's having the yard sale? I am. I used to live here before I lent the place to Billy. Now that he's gone, I figured I should clean it out so somebody else could use it. You sure I've lived in a lot of different places, Marceline. Nah, what can I say? I'm into real estate. Do you know what all this stuff is? Yeah, a bunch of old magic junk. Billy's cave was full of it. He sure did pile up a lot of stuff over the years. Do you recognize this thing? It's called the Wet Willy. <laughs> well, I didn't know what it was called, but I do recognize it. I sold it to Starchy. He gave me, like, four gallons of red paint for it. You know how much I love red. True. That's the only way she can survive. How many of these things have you sold so far? A bunch. Business has been good. People love magic stuff. Marceline, you have to stop selling this stuff. It's really dangerous. I have to put my DS away. Starchy almost put out all the fires in the fire kingdom when he lost control of the wet willy. Who knows what some of these other things could do in the wrong hands? Oh, relax, Finn. You worry too much. Most magic stuff is pretty harmless. It's not like there's a bunch of transmutation and teleportation potions or anything. Hey, Finn! Hey, Jake! Marjorie! How much for this potions? Oh, wow. Well, guess there were some transmutation potions. Jake! Goody, goody. And teleportation potions. <laughs> My bad. And now we're in his cave, and now we have to fight these creeps. I know I haven't said this yet, but when is this game going to end? I know we're like a half, couple of hours into this gameplay. Feels like I've been playing this for a long time. And I should be playing something else. Besides the short gameplays I showed you guys last week ago. Anyways. Let's go ahead and take down these annoying gnome punks. And that was fast. And as usual, 10 minutes in, 
and I'll probably do this like less than four minutes. And how do we get here? That potion the gnome threw must have transported us here. We must be somewhere really deep inside Billy's cave. Must be some kind of throne room. But it looks like there's a bunch of stuff missing. Yeah, maybe we can find the missing pieces while we look for an exit. All right. It's a staff with a gem at the top, being held by creepy hands. I should leave the staff here. It looks nice. Come in, this is an interesting level. Looks like that skeleton was holding something. Like maybe a wand, but it's missing some fingers. Gem, pretty. That's stuck in there pretty tight. That won't work. Okay, how about using your sword? An orange gem. Crying that gem out is a good way to break the tip off of my sword. All right, fine. Creepy skeleton thing, holding a wand. I'm gonna leave the wand there. I don't need to take it. Hmm, looks like those hands used to be holding up something. Let's try this. It's like the holder for that staff on the other side of the throne, only empty. Why would I do that? Okay, worth the shot. I wonder if that guy was supposed to be guarding all this treasure. Proof point. That's some creepy architecture, man. Let's go this way. Whoa. Look at all these skeletons. It's in spire webs. That's kind of creepy. Wow, look at that. Looks like that guy got that whatever it was with his dagger. And not before it got him. That's pretty messed up. Yeah, what the heck. Not like he needed the dagger anymore. There's a gauntlet. Looks like a mix to a giant spire and a... I would say... A, not a buffalo, but one of those creatures that look like that. Those webs look fresh. There's not another one of those spider things around here. In this game budget? I don't think so. It's not doing anything. No, I don't think so. It's like those pressure switches we keep seeing. Only it's missing the flat piece. Sure is a lot of gold in here. Billy was not hurting for Dosh. Wow, webs over there. Looks like there might be a hidden door here. Secret doors don't open that way. There's got to be a switch or something. Yeah, there's a switch behind us. Pressure switch. These are very popular. All right, Jake, do your stuff. I think this is one of those times where you need two switches. No point doing anything until both of them work. All right, fine, let's go this way with all the cobwebs are, and look at these pretties. I bet Jake could help me out here. Hmm. Maybe I should get Jake to help me. Um, okay. Hey, there's the same snail again. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat it again. Blue gem, cool. Let's grab it. Hey Jake, this gem kind of looks like the one in that staff next to the throne. Okay, we can't grab that. I think I get what this game is making looks me like try to do. Under that rock. Pretty sure Jake can do that. Looks like there's something under that rock. What are you thinking, dude? You'll break your sword. Okay, how about this? Quit messing with that. This? That's a good prying dagger. Crescent shaped gem. Cool. Alright, grab it. And it's a moon shaped one. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm going to end it here because my video can only last for like 15 minutes. And so, 
Glad you guys enjoyed me play this game so far. I'll probably play more of it on the next video. So, catch you in the next one. Bye.